What's up everyone, this is Nalik Dreams, and we're back with another hero loadout. This one's going to be on Flash AC, and I threw this build together for people that have a more mix-it-up playstyle that would rather not be limited to one type of weapon, but instead have a more broad area and cover a range of weapons and just be able to have a nice loadout that kind of fits in every area and use whatever they want. This has many ways that you could run it, so what you see on screen is not what you have to run, but keep in mind that a couple of the support heroes are a key factor in maintaining the core of the loadout. But we'll get more into that in just a little bit now if you're trying to get flash ac he's not currently available in the game he was part of the chinese new year's heroes so you can go over to the collection book under the event people and check under the chinese new year's heroes in the outlanders and you can recruit him here for a hero recruitment voucher if you don't already have him and before we get into the hero loadout itself i want to go ahead and show you through a couple of the weapons that you could be running as a loadout i personally like to run a sniper a melee weapon and a dragoon i would recommend having the spectral blade and maybe the dragoon for some group clear for the loadout the old betsy is optional and this is where you can kind of mix it up if you want you can go for an assault rifle or a shotgun if you like running that maybe even some pistols there are just interchangeable heroes in the loadout in the support squad that you'll be able to fit some of these other weapons in and have it as a more versatile gameplay for yourself but with that we can go ahead and back out and head over to the loadout itself now we got flash ac in the commander slot so we'll take a look at his abilities and perks first we've got phase shift shock tower and seismic smash he's got a really nice kit set up and then his perk is the phased out which is decreasing the phase shift cooldown by 62%. And this is why we chose Flash AC for the commander slot. It allows them that mobility to get up close and personal, get in those close quarter fights with a sword or a shotgun, and then phase shift out and maybe use an assault rifle, pistol, or a sniper rifle, anything with a little bit of range. This is what gives you that chance to mix it up. So we can go ahead and check out the team perk and we've got bio energy source slotted here. This is a great survivability method that I favor over many other team perks and you can run whatever you want, but I I just think that it has great synergy with the phase shift using up energy, your spectral blade costing you energy, as well as any abilities like shock tower and seismic smash. All of these things are going to cost you energy and end up replenishing your shield. But with that, we can go ahead and dive into the support team. And this is where you can really mix things up. I've got quick scope here for increased sniper damage by 17%. Fuel for the Fallen eliminations restore 6 energy over 3 seconds. Duration refreshes with additional eliminations. Phase forward, phase shift grants an additional 30% movement speed for 3 seconds. Sure shot increases the sniper critical damage by 75%. And phased and confused which increases phase shift maximum charges by 1. Now the things that I recommend that you keep in the loadout are phased and confused, phase forward, and fuel for the Fallen. These are the core of the build and they allow you to maintain that mobility. The movement speed from phase forward after you shift will allow you to close any extra gap that you didn't quite get on the phase shift and if there are any water husks or slow field this will help you maintain a little bit of that speed phased and confused gives you that additional charge and helps you maintain that cooldown and then fuel for the fallen is just there for since you're using so many phase shifts and your abilities as well as the spectral blade heavy attack it's just to keep that energy replenishing and keep that energy up so these are the things that i wouldn't recommend changing but the things that you can change out are quick soap and sure shot this can be pretty much switched out for any weapon style that you're going for whether it's shotguns or pistols and ARs this can pretty much be interchanged with any of those and the last thing that I want to go over are your gadgets and I would run proximity mine here since you're going to be phase shifting you can drop this in groups of husks and since the hero rework you're able to carry 10 of these now instead of what I think was three and the cooldown is only one minute a piece instead of what I think was three as well so you would run this here and then you can run stationary hover turret or adrenaline rush if you want some extra extra survivability but that's it with the loadout let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay and see how it performs now since this is a versatile build and you're not really limited to any one thing you can feel free to run any of your favorite weapons i've always liked snipers and i prefer to use the betsy and the spyglass but you guys can run any of your favorite assault rifles or pistols anything that really fits in your own loadout and the way that you want to play it and it pairs well with the nice kit that ac has he's got the phase shift and the shock tower as well as the seismic smash and since the hero rework seismic smash really feels strong so even if you wanted to maybe opt out in the loadout for some ability damage for seismic smash rather than weapon damage focus you could even do that this build really allows you to do anything that you want and I also like the way that you can just kind of get mobile around the playing field any melee weapon here works I just think that the spectral blade fits the most because it has the ability to teleport on its heavy attack so it adds even more to that mobility aspect and can get you in and out of situations another thing that I really like about the build is being able to have 10 proximity mines I really am a fan of how epic changed the capacity on 
this. Used to, the Proc 70 mines did a lot of damage, but you didn't have enough to really have fun with them. And they kind of just felt lackluster in the sense that you didn't have enough to place down and continue any damage. But now you've got 10 and they're on a shorter cooldown. So it's really helpful to be able to clear out large groups of husks with them. Just let them kind of pile up on you a little bit, drop one down and face shift out to get some of your shield back and then just sit there and watch it explode, deleting anything in the area. The way that I like to use this build is to phase shift in holding the spectral blade and maybe take care of a couple of small targets. If you got a blaster in the area that's a little bit further away, you can teleport to him with the heavy attack and then maybe phase shift out and then use your sniper to take care of any takers or switch to another blaster that might be charging up an attack. And I really think there's a lot of room to maybe add the fun factor of phase shifting around with a grenade launcher. I think it would be pretty cool to shoot off some grenade shots with the Easter egg launcher or snowball launcher if you have that as well. Just kind of seeing explosions go off or just any of the rocket launchers that you favor jabberwocky or santa's little helper all of these can really work and just trying to allow you a different game style that you might not be used to especially since flash ac isn't hindered by any one focus like many other heroes his bonus is to the phase shift which is on a three second cooldown and that allows you to have a quick recharge rate to get around be really mobile and to get to the other side of the base if any of the husks are attacking over there or to engage and disengage from fights that you do or do not want to be in this loadout is definitely a strong recommendation from me for any players looking for a diverse gameplay. They don't want to be stuck with one weapon type, focusing on one thing. It allows them to use that favorite weapon loadout and be able to play the game the way that they enjoy. But that's about it for this video. Let me know what you all think in the comments and tell me what you might do to change this build up. Remember, it's designed to play how you want it to. I personally like snipers, so I would use a Yeoman, Betsy, or a Spyglass, but you're not limited to that. You can use any weapon of your choosing. And you've also got that classy AC skin to run around in. I can't wait to hear what you all have have to say and thank you all again for watching i'll see you in the next one